All right, welcome. And today's video is going to be specifically about demo recording and submission for challenge mode individual level on board.iverb.me. Check the description for some quick execs and information on things like the wiki, as well as timestamps for different parts of the video where you might want to skip to. To start off, I just want to mention that I'm using a Chrome extension called Dark Reader to be able to see a dark mode on iverb. Uh, it's not normally available, but in case anybody's curious, um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign in through Steam. So click up here, sign into your Steam account. It'll send you an auth code. And then once you sign in, it'll take you to an account if it's pre-existing. If not, you'll just be able to view iVerb normally. Accounts are created for you once you have a time that is top 200 on the leaderboard. So on any of the official maps, meaning maps that you don't have to add in manually, if you have top 200, an account is created for you on the boards. And then once you have an account, all of your scores are here on this main page, your profile page. And with this little drop down arrow here on any of the maps, you can select that and view all your past time submissions and you can add demo, a YouTube video and a comment. So let's do this on a map where I have none of them. Uh, Browse for demo brings up the file explorer where you can put a demo. YouTube URL here, you place a YouTube URL and comment, you can place a comment. Check the iverb rules for whatever the mandate is, but typically um, once you're on somewhere on the first page, you need to have some sort of YouTube URL or demo proof. And we're gonna go over recording demos in challenge mode. If you missed my past video on execs, there's some useful information there. Quick synopsis, an autoexec.cfg file in uppercase portal 2 from common, lowercase portal 2, and then the CFG folder. The autoexec.cfg, named that exactly, uh, will run at the time of startup every time you play the game. This tutorial is assuming that you have SAR installed, um, so if you don't, go ahead and check the links in the description to figure out how to install SAR. It's very quick and easy, but for the example here, the autoexec just loads the plugin SAR so we can use its commands. From there, we have co-op and SP configs here that I've created for co-op and uh, SPCM or challenge mode. Um, both of these are tailored toward my recommended method of recording demos. I'm gonna very quickly go over what each of these do. The SAR record at commands are in Blender East's version of SAR that should be linked down below. The SAR record at commands are tailored towards demo recording, primarily in challenge mode. Uh, record at takes a value um, of an integer, a number, and whatever value it is, is which tick it'll start recording on. Uh, zero is the default, and zero means that it just won't start recording a demo for you. One will start on the first tick, two will start on the second tick, etc. I have it set to two here because demo recording on odd ticks will cause physics objects like cubes to look very strange. So I typically keep it at two. Um, you can change it to one if you're doing a map that spawns you really early, um, but I keep it to two here. Um, star record at demo name is the name of the demo that will be recorded. Star record at increment will incrementally uh, add one to the end of the file name every time you record a new demo. This makes it so that you cannot override your uh, demos, assuming you haven't restarted your game. Uh, this is important here. These are your restart key. Uh, information here um, in single player challenge mode if you do not re like stop demo recording before you restart the level uh, you will run into an issue where the timer will be delayed or it'll be advanced either way you'll be essentially losing time it's it's referred to as demo delay normally so you want to be sure to stop the demo recording and the command for stopping demo recording is stop and then restart level. Uh, the reload key does the exact same thing. Um, it stops demos before uh, reloading the map. The difference is reload doesn't restart the level in the normal game, um, but it does in challenge mode. So this works fine as a challenge mode bind. Um, and then obviously replace key with whatever key you use. So if you wanted to use G, for example, as your key, replace that with G. For co-op, the same doesn't apply. Um, you don't need to stop your demos each time. Uh, the co-op timer gets reset after both bots have loaded into the map, so it doesn't matter. Uh, SAR, SAR commands are really weird for orange in co-op. So SAR record at does not work if you're orange in co-op. So I have a fail safe built in. Um, SAR record at one, this handles blue just fine. Name co-op demo, you know. And then for orange, I just bind an additional command to my movement forward. So W here is your forward movement, and then I tack on record co-op demo at the end of it. So anytime you press uh, W, it'll start recording a demo, and then I just have restart level as the restart key. 
It's worth noting, of course, you do not need SAR to play challenge mode, single player or co-op. You can do it perfectly fine without SAR. It just makes the process a whole lot easier and more automatic and much less involved. There's a lot less you need to worry about when it's being done for you and handled for you. Um, so I think this is a massive convenience for anybody who's learning challenge mode. All right, I'm over here on the speedrun wiki real quick. Earlier I mentioned um, unofficial versus official maps and how they update to iverb. So if you want unofficial maps, an example of an unofficial map is uh, Container Ride, for example. These times do not auto submit to iverb. You'll see the force restart button up in here, up here at the top left is not available. So you will have to submit either a demo or a video. So adding those levels here, uh, as you can see, we're on the Portal 2 speedrun wiki, wiki.portal2.sr. Um, and we have this article here on challenge mode. The game has a challenge map list.txt file. Um, it's kept in your portal 2 folder, capital portal space 2, in the portal 2 underscore DLC 1 folder. So we're going to go to portal 2 here, portal 2 underscore DLC 1, challenge map list.txt. Um, and then you would just simple, simply copy and paste everything here into here, save that restart your game, and then you'll have access to all those levels. All right, Portal 2 is loaded up, and my auto exec has been run when I started the game. As you can see, source auto record has been loaded, plugin has been loaded SAR. Um, now, these separate exec files, uh, I will have to exec manually, so exec and then the name of the file. So we have an SP and we have a co-op. So if I want to exec SP here, uh, it'll say key is not a valid key because I haven't changed the key. Um, I have uh, bind alt set to stop restart level um, so that's my restart key um, so once you have this exec ran you just type exec sp whenever you load into the game um, and you load into a map you will see that the demo starts recording as soon as we load into the game uh, recording demo underscore two it'll skip the first one when you have star increment one on for some reason it's kind of strange uh, but the demo is recording here if we type record demo it'll say already recording if we stop here the demo is completed um, for playback of demos you can simply do play demo and then the name of the demo so this is demo underscore two you have to launch it twice if you're already loaded into a map we'll see that there a good way to remove some of the shakiness in demo viewing is sv alternate ticks zero be aware though this alters the way the game works substantially so this is not allowed in runs of challenge mode or full game or anything um, so be sure to set this back to one it's very easy to identify if you did not do that um, and it's very easy to ban your times so make sure you set it back to one um, once you start playing the game but here you can see it makes it quite a bit smoother and a little easier to view Okay, and then it works the same for co-op. So I'm not going to show it off, but you would simply do exec co-op or whatever you decide to name it. Um, and then, you know, when you press W, if you're orange or whenever you load into the map is blue, the demo re will record for you. Back in the CFG folder here in our Explorer, um, if we go back to the undercase Portal 2 folder here, this is the default location where demos will, will record to. So we have demo underscore 2 here, which is the demo we just recorded. If we go back here to iverb, if we wanted to submit the demo, let's say that this is our buttons demo here, browse for demo, select the demo, upload it. And then if you upload the wrong demo for any reason, you can delete the demo here. Demos are recommended to be used by anybody who's uh, running the game, regardless of rank or skill. It's a good way to catalog your growth and experience in the game, as well as a good way to, for admins to just wipe away any suspicion they might have of cheating. Like I said earlier, SAR is not required to record demos. It just makes the process much simpler. Um, you can just type record and then the name of the demo. So just record demo for this example. You can name this anything, but I just call it demo for simplicity's sake. Uh, we record demo, demo starts recording, we, we're good, we play through the game, and then when we're done, we type stop, we've stopped our recording, and we're good. All right, let's talk about a little bit more advanced tech here for those who are more well-versed in challenge mode. This leaderboard pop-up here at the start, you can turn off with SAR disable challenge stats HUD 1. That way when we restart the level here, it no longer pops up. Um, also, developer one this command allows you to start moving um, as soon as the loading screen is done at the start um, it also has the consequence of showing you a bunch of developer readout here in the top left um, this can be solved with the command con times uh, the value is eight which is the default amount it shows up in the top left you set that to zero and that will not show up 
And for maps like Escape or Cave Johnson or Three Gels or maps where you do not start in an elevator and you have to move as soon as possible, on top of Developer 1, on top of Sar Record at 1, which I'm using here instead of 2, this is the method that the iVerb Admin team has found is most effective for quickly recording demos. Um, you want to hold W and then hit the Restart Level key. Never let go of W. Restart. When this gets to three dots here in the bottom, you want to press your console button. This will do what's called a console pause. You resume game and the uh, auto demo record will start and you're holding W still, resume game, and you'll see I was moving. Um, if we try and do this without doing any of this, it can get a little tricky to time it correctly. Like see there, for example, I was holding W and nothing happened. So this is the most consistent way to be sure that you get the fastest start you can. You see, because there's a there's a stutter associated with demos there, so I just hold that before, and then I'm able to sort of time when I would want to be jumping around these corners. Um, this is more advanced, not something you really need to worry about super early on, but it's very helpful for getting quick demo recordings done. All right, thank you for watching. Um, as always, be sure to check out the Portal 2 speedrunning wiki for more information. Here's the demos page uh, slash demo here on the wiki. Uh, it's got more information here, some more specifics, and it'll be updated if anything else changes uh, past the release of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your runs.